Greetings travelers. Bath time for Dottie. She knew she was getting a bath when I started heating up water. Now I've been traveling around, you're going on the road, uh, where do I give my dog a bath? Oh, you could do it on at the campsite where it's all dirty. You could do it at the beach or up in the mountains. But what I found, if you can't do it at somebody's house, go to a car wash. See, we have a car wash here on concrete. You can wash your car. The sign says cameras in use. Okay, so they're going to get a good show. What do we got here? We got some jugs, filled this with water at the gas station at a garden hose, heat it up with your little teapot, fill a bucket, not too hot, not too cold. Today's about 75 degrees, so it's a good bath day. That bucket is about half full and that's plenty. I'm amazed the bucket really holds the heat for a while. There you go. We have a water, soap, towels, doggy. <laughs> well, uh, I usually start with the body at the back and, and wash her body and her legs and work my way to the head because the head is very sensitive and when I wash the ears, it, she gets, well you'll see, she gets very zoomy. She really zoomy after the bath. And if you've ever had a pit bull before, you know that after a bath, their fur is like velvet. And of course, uh, she's on a rope, because you never know when a kitty's going to walk by or a squirrel, and you've got soapy dog running down the road. So here's how we do it. Get your doggy. Use a sponge or a little saucepan. Well, you want to wear shorts too. Oh, that water's hot. shorts too because you're going to get a little bath too. I'm using the uh, Hearts Mountain Ultra Flea Guard. Nobody seems to mind you're at the car wash washing stuff. Why not wash the doggy? Start at the back. Get all the intimate parts nicely washed, scrubbed. Directions say to uh, leave this on a few minutes before you rinse. Also leave your jugs of water out in the sun for you know, a couple hours. Save on some propane. Now this video is dedicated to Julie out in California. It's a wonderful channel. I want you to check it out. It's called Uncivilized. And it's van life out there on the California coast. I think she's up in Humboldt County, Wairica, one of those places. Of course, we'll be out there in May. San Diego, L.A., Oakland. We'll leave about May 15th. Traveling the great I-10. Shape. Louisiana, Texas, 
New Mexico, Arizona, stop at Quartzsite, visit the dirt. Been on to San Diego, La Jolla, Hotel Del Coronado. I don't know if we'll go up I-5 through the Grapevine, up through the Central Valley. Stop at the Harris Ranch and have a steak. She's shivering a little bit. It's only 75 degrees today, but most of that shivering is she's anxious about getting a bath. Come over this way. For some reason, getting a bath takes a lot of energy out of them. She'll sleep really good tonight. I've done this in a truck stop parking lot, in a rest area parking lot. I've not tried a church parking lot, but grab the doggy. It takes about 20 minutes to heat up all the water. Good bath, it's hot water. and the ears are sensitive, so I do them last. The legs and the feet, the belly.
cracks and sudsing around the ears and the head before you dive into the ears. You want to use a knuckle or use your finger. Good chance too to look over your dog. I just see a little scratch on her neck. I wouldn't do this in uh, Minnesota when it's 10 degrees, but she's not very good at those pet places, you know, where you can wash your dog, you barking at everybody. Zoomies. That's how we do it, on the road. Okay, 
Don't forget to wash your dogs. Coastal Cub out. See ya.